got this direction book out and a bunch of tools and I'm putting this thing together. It's gonna be some sort of shower set up. Uh, everything's not here, but I was gonna give you a peek at this while I put it together. Um, this is gonna be a shower curtain thing. So it's gonna hang just above the door so when the door opens and shuts, it clears it completely. And it's gonna be a, a shower curtain ring. And then the whole curtain will push back and go against the wall, but you'll see when I'm done. And we'll have a little pump shower and then there'll be a basin. Been needing a hands-free shower for a while now. Well, there you go. Free hanging shower curtain. So I have this pump shower thing I'm gonna set up right here. And it's gonna go up to a actual like faucet come down so it'd be hands-free shower and then you'll just have to drag the bin out at the end and dump the water and push the curtain let the curtain dry for the first night and then the next morning push the curtain back and have it hanging against the wall there out of the way it's be better than what I've had and uh, hopefully I'll be able to take a hands-free shower sometime this week there it is with the curtain all tucked behind the door so that's not bad. Um, the curtain that I have is a cheap light curtain. I like those because they're cheap and I can replace them often. Um, but it's not really long enough. So I'm going to have to find one that's a little bit longer than the one I have. Because it's going to be so high that it it's like... Yeah. In the sled. When it's in... Oh, there you go. I almost broke the hula hoop. See, see how high it is? Um, I mean, for a couple showers here and there, that would probably still be fine because the sled is pretty wide. But in general, we want that to be down low enough that it's lower than the edge of the sled that's going to be catching the water of the basin and higher than the water level. So when it dries off at night, it'll be completely dry in the morning all the way down to the bottom so we can push it back and tuck it away. But that's basically it. Shower hidden behind the door. And once I get the pump and put it here, it'll be three and a half gallon shower. Probably only like a three or four minute shower, but it'll have a switch so I can turn it off, get wet, soap up, and then turn it back on. Should be able to do it hands free. Should be pretty nice. Be a little bit better than the hula hoop that we've been using. And I don't know, I guess we'll cut that string off the hula hoop and that hula hoop will just be around for people to hula hoop with I guess hopefully sometime I'll have somebody up here who's willing to hula hoop with it but alright well that's that project now we just gotta wait for the shower pump to come and we can hook up the rest of it but I don't know Amazon had like 10 days shipping on that so who knows when that's gonna get here Alright, apparently my phone's gonna die, but this is one of the last pieces to this shower setup. It's a three and a half gallon. Supposed to be three and a half gallon. Yeah, I think this is a three and a half gallon metal pressure sprayer or water sp or pressure pressurized pump pressurized water sprayer. I've seen the guys Bush Radical from Alaska. Shout out to you, bro. Um, yeah, I saw him. He built his shower set up out in Alaska, and he used one of these to have pressurized hand-free shower. So we're going to hook this up to a water line and try to hook it up to a faucet um, behind the door here where the shower curtain is hanging. And hopefully this will be the last piece. I mean, I still have to go to the store and get a on-off switch and a piece of of tubing that goes to the faucet head where the faucet head will connect and I have a faucet I have a little faucet head that is a water conservation faucet head that's a one gallon per minute so we should be able to get a couple minutes out of this thing you know we'll get wet soap up and then rinse off and if we're lucky maybe we'll have some water on the side that we can fill it again and just uh, take some time under the hot water but definitely should get enough time out of this that we can get clean and have a hands-free shower which is the goal because we've been using a bottle in one hand and soap in the other which is really a pain in the ass and one of the things that is driving me crazy out here so yeah here we go it's this big one right here 
So once I get that all set up, I'll uh, show you guys what that looks like. Well, I just got back from the bushcraft spot camp. Um, you see this thing? I think I showed you it when I put it up, but this is it with a curtain and I had to put double curtain rings on it. So the curtain would be long enough to be below the edge of the sled because the sled is what I'm using as a water basin right now. And the door opens underneath it and the curtain's hidden behind the door so it doesn't really get in the way. It doesn't really affect anything. And then that is the three and a half gallon metal pressure sprayer that I got. And I haven't cleaned it out yet, but I'm gonna clean that out. I still have to go to town. I still have to go to town. Sorry, the lighting sucks in here. Because it's only light from the window. I'm gonna have to go to town and have to get everything to hook this. This is a one gallon per minute um, spray head. And that's at like 30 PSI. So I should be able to get a minute plus per minute out of that. And uh, and then, yeah, I have to still get the pipe that you hook the faucet head onto and then a pipe that comes down to about here and then an on off switch. And then I'll hook this hose to that. So once it's pressurized, you'll just flip it on, get yourself wet soap up and then flip it off and then soap up and then flip it back on and hopefully get a couple minutes under the hot water so i'll show you next time i go to shower but that's the setup all right now that the sun is out i started putting this together last night with a headlamp on but it's too dark to make any videos so i had to buy this arm thing because it was like impossible to find a half inch shower head connector that faced in a direction that I would actually be able to get water shooting where I need it to. So I bought that extender, that arm, at Walmart. It's 14 bucks. And this is the one that I got on Amazon, the head. And this moves now, so we can kind of keep the water where we want it. So we can keep it coming straight down so it's not like spraying out of the, uh, the water basin. So what we got here, if I can get behind here. All right, so we got that half inch shower head hook up to this little nipple. And then this nipple is gonna go to this thing, this thing. And then this is gonna hang like this. Oh, one hand. And then this right here is going to be mounted on a piece of wood we're gonna put here on the wall. So there's an on off switch so we can turn it off. So we can turn it on and get ourselves wet and then soap up real quick. Uh, turn it off and then soap up real quick and then turn it back on. So lighting still sucks in here even though it's morning. Um, so, so what I gotta do next is clean that and then put this piece of ward wood between these two studs so I can mount this right in the middle. And I don't know, I was hoping that I could make it so this would um, detach easily so I could clean it out every once in a while, but I'll just have to undo all the hose when I want to do that. But I gotta go and clean that thing out a little bit because I haven't cleaned it since I got it and it looks like there might be a little bit of, you know, manufacturing oil or something in some parts of that. So I just want to clean that out so we're not getting any of that on me. And I've got water on the stove heating up. And then I'll go grab the sled as the water basin. And once I got all this hooked up, I'll bring you guys back so you can see it. And then we're going to flip that water on and see if we got a shower inside the cabin, which would be really awesome. Oh, oh my hair is crazy. Anyways, um, yeah. So it's been like five days since I've taken a shower because I've been, I've been waiting until I have this ready, but I need to take a shower today. So I'm going to get this all put together, and then I'll bring you guys back when we have running water, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Oh, I keep on walking into the light. Okay, so there's the container. It's all cleaned out as good as I can. I don't know. Might be a little oil left in there, but after a couple hot showers, it should wash out. Hopefully it doesn't give me a rash or anything weird. 
Uh, there it is, three and a half gallons. Comes up this uh, pressurized hose, which is the hose that came with the tank. And then it meets up with this thing. For on and off, on and off. It's kind of loose still, but this bracket wasn't really made for this particular fitting. But it should be good enough for now. It does go on and off. And then this is some hose that is used for like the sprayer on a sink, like in a kitchen sink, like the little sprayer that like comes out, retractable sprayer thing. So then it comes up to here and it comes up to this nipple, all hooked on. This nipple is a half inch to whatever this is, uh, which is like, it's a half inch um, outlet, but this is actually a 3 8 diameter hose, so I don't know, that doesn't really make sense, but it fits. And then this is a half inch shower head attachment up to the arm and to a Niagara conservation um, thing. So, yeah, there we go. Now I just go get the water basin and put the water in there and we'll see if the shower comes on. I still don't know it's going to have enough pressure to actually put water up that whole way. And, and since it goes from a thinner hose to a thicker hose, I don't know, that might slow water flow down. But we'll see. I'll go get the sled and put it in here and, I don't know, I guess we'll take a shower, hopefully. Alright, so it's all full. This is what she looks like. But this damn, the double curtain rings isn't enough. I'm probably going to need to do two more. Um, I'm going to go on Amazon and see if I can find a longer curtain, but they're pretty much standard size at 100 and, uh, at 71 inches. So this one just barely, no, it's still over the edge. So if the water like blows it or if I hit it, it might direct water out of there, which sucks. But I need to take a shower, so we're going to try to do it and try not to get the floor soaking freaking wet. Um... But yeah, if I put two more rings all the way around, it should hang low enough that it's in that bin. And then I don't have to worry about that so much. But yeah, I guess it's time to see what happens when we turn this thing on. None of it catches. Yes, nice. It's an actual shower. That is crazy. It's not perfect temperature. Perfect temperature. Well, the pressure went down pretty quick though. So we'll have enough time to get wet and then we'll have to soap up. Um, yeah, so that's crazy. Sorry the lighting is so freaking awful in here. But yeah, there it is. There's my, the next evolution of my ghetto ass camp showers. But that one's pretty nice and it's a real shower. And it's going to be the first real shower I've taken in 10 months. Or no, in 8 months. So, yeah. I'm pretty psyched. So, I'm going to get naked and get in there. But that was uh, that was pretty cool. Um, and at the rate that it was flowing there, probably get like 7 or 8 minutes. So that's not bad. So I'm going to pump that up a little bit more, get some soap and shampoo, and get in there. Yes! That worked! And the curtain stayed aligned aligned enough that the floor didn't get wet. At least not that wet. Oh man! So good! And it lasted like seven or eight minutes. You know, once the pressure slows down, it slows down, but it still keeps running um, until it's zero pressure. But like at five, five PSI, it runs nice and slow and the water comes out at a speed where you get a lot more time. But man, I'm a happy mother trucker right now. First shower I've taken in eight months that I didn't have to hold the bottle over my head. And man, I'm so happy how well this thing worked. Um, thanks to Dave at Bush Radical YouTube channel. Um, he, he's a gentleman, him and his wife went on season four of Alone. And after they went on alone, I started following their YouTube channel. Um, his is called Bush Radical, and his wife's is called um, A Girl in the Woods, maybe, or 
I don't really remember what his wife's is called. I still watch her channel all the time, but it's on my subscriber list, so I don't really see the uh, the title of her channel as much. But yeah, um, I'm pretty psyched. He built one of the, he built a small shed next to his cabin that he put a shower system like this in. I told him that this was my next project in the comments, and uh, he hit me back up and said that that's cool. I gotta send him pictures of this so he can see what I got. But man, taking a shower in the cabin with the wood stove going, hot water from the wood stove, pressurized. Oh man, I can't tell you how happy I am. So usually I'll do this at night, and then um, and then I'll keep this curtain completely pulled like that. And then let that whole curtain dry completely. We took the shower during the day today so I can make this video. So I'm going to have to let this dry for a couple hours in here with the stove running before I can put it back up against the wall. If you put it up against the wall wet, you're going to get mildew and stuff. But if you let it dry completely, you're going to get like six months out of this curtain without having to replace it. Without having like that shower smell in the cabin. So yeah, I'm pretty psyched. We'll let this dry off for a little while. Um, that's the only thing. When you take shower in the middle of the day, you have to let this dry off, which is basin that's down here is in the way. You can't open the door and get out of the cabin, obviously. So if I have to get out of the cabin, I'm just going to have to squeeze by it. But today we're going to have to let that dry and it's going to be on our way most of the day. But again, that's just for the video. Usually I would wait until right before bed and I would take my shower and then let this dry all night, and then in the morning when I get up, haul the basin out there, and the curtain will be dry enough that it will be completely dry by morning, so I can put it up against the wall behind the door. But yeah, hidden little shower, hidden behind the door in this uh, 10 by 20 cabin. Man, it was so nice to have a shower with real running water. Yeah, my skin feels good. It, the one thing that kind of sucked is this hose right here that's coming out of it, it has a really plasticky smell to it. And when the hot water goes through it, that plasticky smell comes out in the hot water a little bit. I don't feel like it left anything on me. I, I don't know, we'll see if I get a rash or anything. I'm, I have sensitive skin, <laughs> so I do get rashes. And out here I get rashes a lot. Not from poison, o poison ivy, because I've been exposed to it so many times that that doesn't give me a rash anymore. But I get rashes from random things sometimes I'll be carrying wood that has like moss or like some sort of weird like mold or fungi growing on it and that will make me break out there's a lot of things that make me break out randomly so I'll know if that plastic is going to bother me but I'll probably replace that hose with some more of that dishwasher hose which is I know is safe for uh for showering um you just have to have a hose that can handle the pressure you know that thing can pump up to 40 psi which I would never pump it. The, the highest I pumped it today was up to 20 PSI. And you get about two or three minutes of like water until you have to pump it again. I had to pump it three times um, to take that shower. And, and I did almost all of the water. There's probably about two inches left of water in there. Um, but that was pretty awesome. I'm pretty psyched. I mean, man, that is awesome. That was one of the things that was really driving me crazy out here is not being able to just take the hot water, fill this thing, and take a pressurized shower. And, and in the summer, I'm going to get all the same stuff that I have there. I'm going to keep this one here and not take it down, but I'm going to get a, 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 another pair of the whole thing, and I'm going to make a shower on the back of the cabin so during the summer when it's hot, I can just put water in this thing and then take a shower out behind the cabin you know, and not have to deal with the basin and stuff. The basin I just deal with when it's too cold outside to shower. But yeah, that was a success. My off-grid shower system. Man. Yeah, I'm pumped. Thanks, thanks, Bush Radical. You really hooked it up. That was some good information, and now I'm a really happy camper.